Hello. Hi. DBSB here and Mr. Courgette. So, um, way back in episode 12, shall we remember a bit of episode 12? We've had a lot of naga. We've had a lot of fun. We've seen Japanese afros. And I kind of want to try, is it Kalpis? I can't yeah, remember now. Yeah, there's this. I want to try the Japanese soft drink now because if the whole film is built around the need for a soft drink whilst wearing a kimono or a gi and an afro, I want an afro and a gi and a Japanese yeah. soft drink. So that was episode 12. We reviewed a film called Tokyo Zombie. It Bat shit awesome. crazy and kind of awesome. And still even now, however many episodes on we are right now, 14? Um, no idea what was going on in that film. No. Not a clue. But something that was featured in it was a Japanese drink called a color piss. Yeah. So, Calpis soda. Ooh. So um, it's um, supposed to be a milk-based drink. Apparently it's refreshing and tasty since 1973. Yeah. Mm. That's what it says on there. So we're going to try it. We've got two versions of Calabas. Uh Yeah. The, the Ordinary. And this one is um, with grape juice. Now, I know what you're thinking out there. And don't get me wrong. I can see your trepidation that a milk-based fizzy drink with grape juice in it isn't sounding that appetising. But, but, yeah. But we're here to try it on your behalf so that if it's awesome, we can tell you. If it's awful, we can run to the bathroom. Yeah. So uh, let's. We'll try the ordinary first. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I nearly pour it over your lap. Then. Yes. Uh, oh, the depth perception of DBSP. You have hidden depths. <laughs> well, they're hidden from me. Yeah. <laughs> so. It smells the smell it Lucasaid. Yes. Or, or something definitely Lucasaid. Proper old school Lucasaid. You know, like you used to have in hospital. Yeah. Mm. Wrapped in plastic bags. No, no, that was but fast. <laughs> so, should we Yeah, let's have this refreshing milk based drink. It's tasting very lemonadey for me. Yeah. Basically a lemonade. I mean, look, the look of it is basically lemonade spiked with jizz. I mean, I'm just putting yeah. it out there. See, cream soda, that's got... And it's, it's, it's not... Yeah, lemonade is really... That's all right. I can see why the Japanese love it so much. Yeah? Yeah. I'm, um... Yeah, now I've said cream soda, I've kind of got that after the sort of kind of vague creaminess, the sort of... Yeah. But it, you know, it's... Yeah. That'd be, that's quite nice. Glad it's... I think it wouldn't be quite so nice not chilled. No, definitely not warm. Yeah. No. Uh, but yeah, I'm still thinking a bit lemonade -y. I'm not getting much of a lucasaid taste to it, even though we've got the smell. No. Yeah. So let's uh, let's go for Calpis Muscat. Yeah. Mm. I'm slightly more trepidatious about this one because of the grapes. <laughs> mm. Oh, that smells like oh a, realistic grape flavour. <laughs> uh, do you remember the packs of three sort of gobstoppers you get as a kid? They had the stickers in with them yeah. as well. Can't remember what they were called. Jawbreakers. It smells like jawbreakers to me. Yeah, it has that real after artificial. Yeah. Jawbreakers. Do they still make those? Can you still get them? Hmm. Who knows? The internet probably. Great. Hmm. Right, we seem to have slightly more of the realistic, great smelling one. Right. That just. Yeah, uh, that is. Yeah, that smells the first waft of some sort of bubble sweet going yogurt. great. Yeah, that just looks radioactive, and you just know it's had all the, See, the colours put into it. Anything that smells like this should be a purple colour. 
Yeah. This. Yeah, I'm right. not sure about this one. It's like drinking rancid bubble gum. Yeah, bubble gum, melon. Oh yeah, there's a little bit of watermelon chupa chups in there. But, yeah, uh, but not in a good way. It's. You know when you've had that bubble gum that's been in your bag for a while, and you know it's you think oh it might be all right, I have a bit of it. You go oh actually that's rotten, and you have a drink straight off to just take the taste away, and all you can taste is that rancid bubble gum. Calpis yeah. muscat. Yeah, kind of bubble gum, pineapple, melon. No, you say pineapple. Yeah, I'm getting that. Uh, sidebar here: if you have pineapple on a pizza, weird. Sort of like every single artificial fruit flavour. I'm not a fan of that. Mixed up. The the the, the, the plain calipis. The, the plain one is looking it's pretty like, rock and roll yeah. right now. It's like that that's just lemonade, but this one is I mean that that that's horrible. Nothing in nature tastes like this. <laughs> no, this is it's it's almost like a factory the way they've got like Here's all the bad ideas we've had for the last five years. Let's combine them and put them in one drink. Yeah, I'm going to struggle to finish that. Mm. So there you go. Yeah. One of the characters from Tokyo Zombie was obsessed with this drink and drove around in an ice cream van drinking Calpis. Calpis. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna go out there and say, Calpis, good, Calpis Muscat, everything about the '80s, but bad. Yeah, bad, good, good, bad. Yeah. On a hot day, that Re- kind of thing. On a hot day, reach for the Calpis. Mm-hmm. Yes, is not what. No, no. no. So yes, yeah. there you go. <laughs> that was that. Little side note for you, uh, um, we've tested the cow piss for you, and it, yeah. it wasn't nearly as pissy as we thought, or... Yeah, or it was milky. Or it was milky. I was kind of slightly worried. Yeah, I was slightly worried about the idea of fizzy milk. Um, I'm now just worried about grapes. Mm. 